Hey everybody, how's it going? As you can see in front of me, I have the absolutely massive Anycubic Predator. Uh, the astute among you may have seen this machine in the background of a couple other videos sitting in the corner, and the even more astute among you may realize that this looks an awful lot like the machine that Rolahan used a couple of years back, I think about a year and a half ago. Uh, and you guys would be right. This is the exact printer that Rolahan had. Now, it's not in the exact same state. He took off the extruder, the hot end, a couple of stepper drivers, stuff like that for other projects. But ultimately, uh, this is that machine. The way I see it is uh, Rolo had his turn to do some upgrades, and now it's my turn. So I'm going to be going over those today. So one thing to note is that I don't really plan on going over the top with this sort of build. Again, very similar to him. I'm just looking to get the printer working and, you know, in a little bit better condition than this. So the two things that it needs are kind of blatantly obvious. It needs an effector and thus needs a hot end and extruder. I have already chosen those, but I'm not going to talk about that until the next video. I will say though that I've been doing a lot of stuff and a lot of printing and prototyping and I do have something ready. The other thing is uh, the bed, or the lack thereof. So you may recall Rolo had a mirror with painter's tape on it that he used. I did get that mirror, but then I immediately dropped it, and it shattered into a million pieces, so obviously that's not an option anymore. So this is just the bare aluminum sheet, which is quite flexible. I think it's only three millimeters thin, so I need some sort of a bed surface. In the meantime, I could just use Phoenix's PEI, but I would like to get it its own bed surface. I do have an idea there, but again, that'll be a topic for a future video. And really, that's all I'm going to be doing. I mean, of course, I do need to get some new stepper drivers for up there. I do need to put clipper on it and, you know, tune it and all that sort of thing. But really, it's the effector and the bed that we're worried about. There is the possibility for some upgrading in the towers, mainly going with 0.9 motors and also potentially changing these belts, which I don't think you can see at all, but they're there. Uh, these are just the stock belts, like as far as I'm aware, in the state I got the printer. Hopefully they're decent because I've heard that replacing them really, really sucks. You have to basically take the whole tower off like off the machine and then work on it separately and do that for all the other three. So I, I would really like to not have to do that, but in the event that a belt breaks or starts stretching or something, then I'll probably put in some, I don't know, uh, probably just GT2 belts actually. I don't have double shear on this, but some new belts and then some new 0.9 degree stepper motors because these are stock ones of unknown quality. I have no idea what they're like. But really, all in all, that's it. Wow, I, I have to like really hide back in the corner to get this whole thing. But that's the machine. It's giant, um, and hopefully it'll be good. So I'm aiming for the next part out next week, so stay tuned for that. If you have any sort of suggestions or comments or things you think I should know about this before I sort of launch right into this build, please do let me know. As always, I'm on the Rolahan server far more than I should be, so feel free to come chat with me there. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part.